Have a Nice Death is a roguelike that's set in the grim office of a CEO who's tired of doing paperwork. The animation, aesthetic, gameplay, strategy, and the music that play, while it's all happening, meshes everything together to create a very immersive experience that's very challenging and is not for the faint of heart. The start screen is an animated character giving us a little taste of what's to come. Followed by this, the intro cinematic animation is really good and doesn't use words at all, only actions to communicate what is happening in the scene. The motion is extremely fluid, both in the cinematic and the actual gameplay, like breaking a door. The aesthetic is the theme of a deathly corporation. This includes the opening cinematic, the CEO, headless businessmen, an elevator loading screen with elevator music. I like this a lot personally because it's a really good transition screen. You spawn at your desk, employees are working at your company, there are barriers and paperwork, and there's a rest in paperwork screen if you die, which I personally laughed at when I first saw that. The genre of this game is a roguelite, meaning if you die, you restart the run, kind of like Dead Cell, a game that I also really like. It's a total rage game, which means that you have to re-defeat the bosses if you die, which I had to do multiple times because I'm very bad at the game. Regarding gameplay, once you get past the tutorial, which is pretty simple, you collect Solary. Solary? I, th I think that's how you pronounce it? Solary? I'm not good at pronouncing anything, which is why they have me stuck at this desk job. You collect Solary, which is a form of currency in this world. You can spend a certain amount of either Solary or pri Prism? Pr prism? Prismium? Words are hard. Another form of currency to upgrade weapons. If you go to the store but have no money, you're out of luck, which means it's best not to skip enemies. Ingot a form of currency I can actually pronounce, are how you buy weapons, and some of these weapons have names that are puns. When you do special attacks using some of these weapons, it'll cut to a very cinematic screen. While attacking, basic attacks do not charge up. If you use a special attack, you have to use mana for that specific ability. Trust me when I say this, it's not worth having two of the same weapon on you. Mostly because the game will treat it as one item instead of two, so if you use one, the cooldown will reset for both of them. It's very dumb. An attack that is very good, however, is the down special, which is really powerful. While you have this powerful ability in your moveset, you have to move around all the time, otherwise you will get hit. While fighting these enemies, each area will have its own enemies, and ambushes lead to enemies spawning in a fixed area which you have to beat to move forward. The more enemies you defeat, the more items and money you can get. You have to be very tactical with which enemies you fight, because some enemies are really tough and can take a third of your health in one hit. Each area has five levels before you make it to the interview, aka the boss battle. Brad is the first boss and can basically one hit you depending on what your current health is, which happened to me way too many times. It's best to use special abilities that you've gained on the way to use against the bosses to best deal damage. After you beat a boss, you can get an upgrade. And these upgrades or bonuses can be chosen if you find the person handing them out. The more things you get done per run, the more ingots you get. And at each ending of the levels, you choose a different floor to go to, which plays some elevator music. Which brings up the fact that the music in this game is mysteriously playful. Even even when you get hit, the music actually messes up, making you feel like you've done something very, very wrong. While I do have a lot of good things to say about this game, I do have a few criticisms. I'm not really sure what the book actually does, because all it does is follow me around the entire time and doesn't really help me in combat whatsoever. Looking back on it now, I think it has to do with the book collecting the souls, because it was hinted at in the very first cinematic. The game is still in early access at the moment, and has three updates coming soon. The entire playthrough, every Everybody kept calling something a sorrow, and at first I was very confused. But once I beat the first boss, I realized that sorrow apparently means boss, boss battle. So that clicked in my brain once I figured that out. I only beat one of the bosses so far because this game is really hard. Actually, how many bosses are there? Nine bosses? Are you kidding me? Nope, I, no, I ain't do this anymore. Nope, uh-uh. What a lovely day to be alive, wouldn't you say? 